U.S. men's national team dropping their roster for the upcoming September friendlies against Uzbekistan and Oman. This is uh, Greg Berhalter's first since retaking control of the team. Got a couple interesting dual nationals here. Uh, Christopher Lund, a Danish-American, Benjamin Kramaski, the Argentine-American that plays with Leo Messi on Inter Miami. A lot of the big names in, some injuries that are worth noting. Tyler Adams, Taylor Booth, Cameron Carter-Vickers. Sean Johnson, Zach Steffen, Josh Sargent, Walker Zimmerman, and yes, Gio Reyna, who just returned to training for Borussia Dortmund. Of course, the relationship between Gio Reyna and Greg Berhalter. Very much a focus as we continue. Here's what Berhalter had to say in an interview with Vanity Fair. Quote, it's not something where you just pick up the phone and say, hey, bud, here's how it's going to be. There is work to be done. Uh, Greg Berhalter also asked about his relationship with Reyna during a press conference today. Here's what he had to say. You mentioned you hadn't spoken to Gio yet and that you wanted to, to do it, uh, in your words, the right way. What What is the right way in your mind, Greg? Well, you know, those are conversations that I look forward to, and it's just understanding sensitivities around it, right? I mean, he's he's a, a young player. I think for for everyone involved, it's been a lot for the last six months. And we just want to do it in the best possible way to put him in position um, to help the team in a way that we know he can. And, um, you know, he, unfortunately, he was ruled out for this camp. But I, you know, I look forward to um, continuing to monitor his progress at Dortmund and hopefully getting him back into camp in October. Looking back at the Howe Institute talk, do you have to explain either individually or to group the players of what went on and any regrets you have from going semi-public that day with what occurred? You know, Ron, I, I did that immediately afterwards. Um, I sent a note to each and every one, every player and, and apologized for, for, you know, this, this getting out in the way that it did. Um, you know, it was, it was never about names. It was more about an example of our strong team culture um, and I felt that if it if it hurt one player, then it's worth apologizing to the entire group, and that's what I did. Just just to clear up on the situation with uh, with Gio, you said in the interview that you haven't been able to 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 speak yet. Is that because you haven't yet put in place a way to reach out to him? You haven't reached out to him, or or has he not not responded? Just just to clear that up, really. No, I, I wouldn't say that. That's not fair to say he's non-responsive. That's that's not accurate. Um, you know, it's he's been responding, and for us, it's it's understanding the sensitivity around the issues, understanding the right time in the right way, and um, you know, I think again, it's for us, we're committed to every single player in this player pool, and for us, it's about how do we how do we maximize communication with them and and target it in a way that we're getting the most out of each and every player so for this it's just being a little bit more thoughtful a little bit more sensitive to um to the past and i look forward to having conversations with him i look forward to to watching you know his progress and hopefully him getting back on the field and then for us you know hopefully being able to include him in the october camp against you know two good opponents Chaka Hislop still with us to unpack everything we heard there from Greg Berhalter. But, Stevie, I'll start with you. You're the former manager. Help me understand that. I'll tell you what. Why, you got, why talk, 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 talk? Come on. All you got to do is say, look, I haven't spoken to him yet. I will be speaking to him personally. Mm -hmm. And I'm and hopeful that we can resolve the problems we had moving forward. Or beyond that, why so not... It's all this nonsense about, about sensitivity and... I mean, come on, you're too... You're too you're two grown, grown adults. Speak. Mm -hmm. We don't need to hear gobbledygook. Are you surprised? Sensitivity. I mean, shush, come on. Are you surprised that he hasn't made the call yet? Seeing Absolutely. How he's been? Should he it's have the already... first thing he should have done. Really? Absolutely. Look, Gio Reyna, other than Pulisic, Gio Reyna is absolutely going to be pivotal to anything that the US do in the next World Cup and qualifying. They've got to qualify first. No qualifying. Home. Oh, beg your pardon. Yeah. There you go. Cop America. So, so surely, yeah. surely, as a manager, as a coach, you want the best players. Now, Gio Reyna is head and shoulders above 90% of, of what's in, what the US have. Mm -hmm. So the first thing you have to do is look after them. So the first thing you do is call them. As soon as you become the coach, the first thing you do is you get in touch and you sit down and you fly over and you sit with them. 
And I guess the first question, you have to call him first and say, do you want to play under me? And I said, that's a dead simple. Again, why do they have to talk and talk and talk? It's dead simple. It's a yes or no question. Are you, are you available to play under me? And if he says yes, you say, right, I'm coming to see you. I think we need to talk. Let's sort it out. And that's it. How difficult is that? Seriously. Shaka, how would you describe Burhalter's handling of the situation? Well, of late, I'm well. Certainly, with these two, two, with this press conference and, and then the, the media interview that he did, I, I thought he left a lot to be desired. And now, I, again, for full disclosure, I I know somebody who was at that at that um, conference that, that he he made those comments, and I. I Still don't think that he, he did or said anything wrong, given the, the context of it all. But it hit the headlines, it blew up, and I think Stevie, Stevie summed it up perfectly there. If at this point you haven't spoken to him, I, I don't think Berholter needs to say anything more than, listen, I, I, I don't think this is a phone conversation that I have to have with Gio Reyna. This is a person-to-person, face-to-face conversation that we have to have. I was hoping that he'd be fit for this camp, but he wasn't. So we're now looking at dates where either he, when he comes back in October or I go, or I go to see him. I, I don't think anything more needs to be said at, at that point. And, and again, I think Stevie's approach, and, and he summed it up perfectly at the end, you make, if you do make that call, the call is no more than, can I come see you at some point? And you get uh, U.S. soccer to, to book your flight uh, out, out to Dortmund or, or wherever, a neutral venue somewhere away from, from prying eyes, and you sit and you have that conversation with, with Gio Reyna over, over a coffee. Nothing more needs to be said. I haven't had the conversation with him just yet. We need to have sit down and have a, a person-to-person conversation. He's important. And a- well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.